Now you are solving in this equation with addition and subtraction. So you can see that there's an addition and subtraction on the equation. So let's try the first one. 4 2 x minus 3 equal to 4 2 x minus 1. So what you need to do now is to bring all the x to one side and the number to the other side. So negative 3 bring to here will be positive. Positive bring to there will be negative. So first expand all this. 4 to x minus 4 to x times 4 to the power of negative 1 will be equal to 3. And because of subtraction and addition, you need to let something. So what I can see here that is repeat is 4 to the power of 2x equal to y. So y minus y times 4 negative 1 equal to 3. 4 negative 1 is actually 1 over 4 to the power of 1 equal to 3. So y minus 1 over 4y will give you a 3 over 4y equal to 3. And y will then be, bring this to the other opposite, will be 4 over 3. So y equal to 4. So y is y, y is power of 2x equal to 4 power of 1. Since it is the same base, you can compare the power. So at the end of the result, the power of x will be 1 over 2. For question 2, bring all the x to one side. 7 to x minus 8 power of 7x, I mean 8 times 7 power of x equal to negative 7. In this case, we can see that 7 to the power of x is repeated more than once. And this is 2x and x, we can just say that let 7x equal to y. So 7 to x will be equal to y squared. So in this case, this will be y squared minus 8y equal to negative 7. In this case, we can see that it is a quadratic equation. So what we do is to bring everything to one side and solve it. So this is how you factorize a quadratic equation. You put a y here, put a y here, 7 and 1, minus and minus will give you a positive here. So I know that y equal to 7, y equal to 1, and what is y? y is 7 to the power of x. So this is 7 to the power of x equal to 1, and this is power of 1. So x here is equal to 1. And how about here? 7 of power of x equal to 1. So what does this give you the 1? So everything, you know, this giving you a 1 is 7 power of x equal to 7 to the power of 0. Then this will give you a 1 here. So x here will be equal to 0.